field for the sportsmen. 30 laps scheduled. Green flag laps for the sportsmen in their Power 5 feature event. Saradinsky, Paul Williams at the top of the point. Coming hot out of turn number four. Green flag in the air, and we are off down into one. Saradinsky gets a good jump on the start and leads it down into turn number one as Pianca slides underneath Williams down the back straightaway. They are double wide down the back stretch into turn number three. Perry gets kicked up three wide through the corners as he gets sideways off of four. What a hot and heavy battle early on here as Rio kicks up Williams up top. Little contact back in the back between Perry and the zero of Baxter. Now Chad Baxter has a lot of work to do. Started 18th on the grid. We'll see if he can get another win this year. But the battle is back up front for third. Rio and Lambert side by side coming out of two. Chad Baxter settling into the number two spot following the rookie down into turn number three. Scott Zerdinski Jr. doing a great job at the top of the field. A little bit loose off the corner. If you get a good look, especially for those folks down in the stands, take a look at the hands on these drivers as they seesaw back and forth on the steering wheel. They roll down the back straightaway. Adam Petty down underneath Chris Rio in the battle for the third position, fourth position off of turn number four. Petty just edges out at the stripe with Kohler on his tail down at the one. As you're in, in the stands watching the sportsman race, a lot of times you'll see them coming out of the corner, especially if you have one of those seats. You say, oh, they got loose coming out of the corner. Three wide through turns three and four. Rio, Petty, Kohler battle it out across the stripe, down into one. They look like they're loose. They're not really loose. These guys just ride them real hard as Rio gets pushed up into the back into three. They get it all under control, folks. Don't you worry. Rio got real loose off the corner in a battle for second. Now as Lambert slides underneath Pianca, looking for the number two position. Kohler is up to fourth. Kid Chaos rounds out the top five. Perry is up to six now as they hit turns three and four. Sierdinski continuing to set the pace off the corner. And a lot of shuffling throughout the field here. Just a few short laps in, only seven laps into this 30-lap feature. It's Lambert. Now finally getting the advantage. He'll take second away from Pianca. Kohler just jumps right in there, looking to go two for one. He has a nose underneath Lambert. Lambert is able to shut that door, though. Kohler drops back into that third spot as they race off the corner. Single file through your top ten. Battle behind him. Here comes Baxter moving his way up underneath Gomes to jump into 11. Off of turn number four they come, chasing that number 22 is Scott Zerdinski Jr. Colby Lambert having a great run. And with Kohler sitting third, Pianca taking a look down to the inside there, but Kohler's able to keep that pace there as they go trouble off of turn number two, the 31 of Steve Potter. The Cyclone goes around, and we're slowed up for the first time at lap number nine. And they are ready to go. Sarandinsky and Lambert practically racing up to the restart box here in three and four. Coming off the corner, green flag in the air. We are back underway, and Kohler jumps to the inside, tries to make a three wide right off the bat. And what that does is give Lambert the advantage on the outside as they come down the back straightaway. Three wide, look at Perry threading the needle between Pianca and Rio as they come off of turn number four. Lambert is the new leader off the corner. Down into turn number one, it's Colby Lambert, three wide behind him, that's Casper. Petty and Pianca racing off turn number two. They're holding it three wide, too, as Pianca has the advantage going in. Contact between them as they race off turn number four. Smooth as a whistle coming off the corner. Tight confines down into turn number one. Pianca continues to run that third groove off of turn number two. Now it is Baxter filling that inside lane. Battle up front. Joe Kohler takes a look to the inside of Colby Lambert. Trying to cross over move. Lambert trying to shut the door. But Kohler wedges his way in. They race side by side off of turn number two for the lead. Trouble behind in the back of the pack. Healy a little off the pace there as they race off turn number four. Kohler to the lead. Races across the stripe. Fanning jumps up into that third spot. Now Rio down underneath Saradinsky Jr. for fourth as they race down the back. Into three and four. And Chris Rio on the move down on the inside. He's up inside the top four as Saradinsky starting to backslide just a little bit on the top side. Now Perry fills the hole in down low. They race single file for the lead. They're double wide. Lambert taking a look to the inside of Kohler. Kohler trying to shut the doors. They hit turn three and four. Kohler a little bit loose off the corner. Halfway down. 15 down, 15 to go in this power five race. 30 laps the distance. Down the back they go into turn number three. It is Kohler to the outside, but not by much over Colby Lambert. Lambert with a good run off the corner here, battling it out. 
with Smoke and Joe as they race down through Corey Fanning and Rio. A little bit of bumping on that bottom lane, trying to get Lambert that extra push to get by Kohler as Kohler. A lot of speed on that outside lane as they cross the stripe. It's a one and two, they go. 17 laps are complete, and Kohler and Lambert continue to run door handle to door handle. Kohler edging out down the back straightaway, trying to shut the door. Trouble off at turn number two. Baxter and Casper get together. They were running seventh and eighth at the time, and we are slowed up for the second time in this event. And Casper pulling up to have a word or several with Baxter. The years in the sportsman division. Back of the pack, 13 laps to go. It's gonna be a lot for Baxter to overcome. We may see another new winner here tonight for the sportsman, green flag in the air. And it's Joe Kohler down into turn number one. He takes the lead with Fanning, fighting alongside Lambert for second. Down the back stretch they go, chasing that black 43 of Kohler with Lambert trying to hold off the charges of Corey Fanning and now Ed Perry right on the tail. Three wide down into turn number three deep in the field. Pangolini caught on the outside with the five of Moretti in the middle. The 69 of Perry down to the inside. They settle it all amongst themselves across the stripe and it is a dead heat between Lambert and Fanning that time across the stripe. Down the back they go into turn number three. Kohler leads by three car lengths. Contact there between Perry and Fanning. A great save by Fanning. He may have had a little bit of help by bumping into Lambert, but it's three wide now. Down into one and two. Contact between all three. Lambert gets pushed up top. He saves it. Perry to second. Here comes Rio for third. 97 off the pace and down into the infield. Tyler Almeida as he settles in behind the pace car off the racing surface. Up front, Kohler sets the pace. Perry is second. Rio up into the third spot, but he's got a heavy pressure from the 57 of Adam Petty all over the back bumper. Down the front they go into turn number one. It's Kohler opening up that lead even more over Ed Perry. Down the back, Rio, a little bit of contact between Perry, excuse me, Petty down on the inside of Rio. Fanning drops back into that fifth spot. Bumping and banging off turn number four. Petty down underneath Rio for third. Adam Petty started off the season real strong. Wants to get back up to where he was running at the beginning of the year. And it looks like they found something in that all phases restorations number 57. He has found himself up inside the top three. Fanning following through as Rio gets caught on the outside. Down the back they go as the 31 of Potter is slowing. He'll take that machine back behind the wall. Race off the corner, Kohler opened up a significant lead over Perry. Couple back to Petty, who's barely holding off Fanning. Now Lambert and Rio side by side, bumping and banging through one and two for that fifth position. Fanning takes a look to the inside of Petty, down the back stretch, trying to get a run inside the blue and yellow 57. They roll off of four, Petty shuts the door, but Seesaw is back and forth on the steering wheel to keep him at behind as they hit turn number one. Rio backsliding, here comes Pianca now with some late maneuvering down underneath. Rio takes a look to the inside of Lambert. Here comes the 11 of Fanning underneath Petty. Side by side battle across the stripe for that third position. Fanning underneath Petty. As they race off the corner. Give it a Fanning off turn number two. Here comes Pianca back up into the battle underneath Petty for that fourth spot down through three and four. Rio following him through up inside the top five and Zerodinski trying to follow that route as well. Three wide momentarily. Zerodinski taking a look to the inside of Lambert and Petty settles it in back behind as they hit turn three. White flag is in the air. The battle right now is behind your leaders. Look at Pianca all over the back. Bumper of Fanning down into one. White flag high in the air is Joe Kohler. Coasted on down through three and four. Checkered flag high in the air. Joe Kohler comes home with the win. Second place goes to Ed Perry. Third place just by a hair goes to Corey Fanning. Well, for the second time all season long, Chad Baxter is shut out of Everett's Auto Parts victory lane. Tonight it is smoking. Joe Kohler picking up the win here this evening. Eddie Perry with a great run for second. Third place going to Corey Fanning. Craig Pianca finishing fourth with Chris Rio rounding out the top five. Colby Lambert sixth. Scott Zerdinski Jr. seventh. Eighth to Adam Petty. Chris Gomes ninth. Paul Williams rounds out the top ten. 
Don Perry, Chad Baxter, Rob Kohler, Randy Moretti, and Andy Gillis for, to 15th. Kyle Casper, 16th. Vinny Pangolin in 17th. Adam Giacomozzi, 18th. Cody Tripp, Mark Healy rounding out the top 20 with Steve Axon. Tyler Almeida and Steve Potter rounding out the field unofficially. And look at the smoke show from Smokin' Joe Cola. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Our Helgers South Coast Power Equipment Power 5 Sportsman winner, Smokin' Joe Cola. Well, Kirk Bianca makes his way up to the line. Boy, for him to get unstrapped. How about a round of applause? Second place on the night, Kid Chaos, Corey Fanning. The Evers Auto Power Machine put in a good showing here tonight. Come home on the podium. How do you feel? Oh, I feel great. Uh, like everybody's seen, we've been struggling quite a bit. And, uh, you know, uh, to come home second, that's like a win for us. Joe's been doing his homework. And it seems like every week I'm chasing that blue and black car. And, you know, my cars are always black forever, but we'll get it done in the white machine. I'm coming for Cousin Joe over there. Don't worry. Who do you want to thank here for coming home second? Uh, first off, the fans for coming out. Uh, it's great to see a, a decent crowd. Uh, Everett's, these guys, they always step up to the plate. It doesn't matter. You get a phone call every week, and uh, what do you need? And half the time, we just talk about all the funny stuff going on. We forget we're even talking about race cars, and uh, that's great. That's what makes it fun. Well, congratulations. Second place on the night for Corey Fanning. And third place here tonight, a round of applause for Craig Pianca. Oh, what a battle. You started up front, you fell to the back again, you come back, you come home third. How's that feel? Thank BFR Racing, big time. Johnson Engines, Ray Taylor. Uh, my wife, my son graduated today from high school, Smithfield High School. I was nervous right up until he got the diploma. He graduated. He's on to college. I wanted to be on the podium for sure to get this done, and I pulled it off. Who well, else? Anyone else you want to thank here getting that number four on the podium? The fans. Thank you, fans. We're back. We're back, baby. Well, congratulations. Third place on the night, Craig Pianca. And your winner here tonight, a round of applause for Joe Kohler. Man, once you got to that lead, you did not look back. The 43 was on a rail tonight. How does it feel? Oh, it feels good. It feels good. It really does. I mean, I didn't think I had the car to win today. We kind of fought adjustments all day, but uh, we hit it on the head for the feature, and she was, she was moving. She was a little, I'd say it was a 9.5 out of 10, but... Um, I feel like we still got a little more homework to do, but we're definitely, we're right there. How's a, uh, a win like that feel where you said the car you weren't sure about and then you come out for that feature event and it just, everything matches up fine? I mean, it's been, it's been okay for the last few weeks. It's just Chad had a little bit of bad luck tonight and that played out for me. If I, he didn't, I feel like we'd, we'd be battling for it just like we have been for the last five weeks. So, sucks that he had some bad luck, but that comes with racing. Um, hopefully they're back on their game next week. What do you want to thank here for getting you home the checker flag? I got to thank Stevie D's, Riverside Tavern, Northeast Requip uh, Equipment Repair, Allen's the Man, Boss Lady Graphics, Adams Landscaping, Northeast and Tree Service, um, my, my, Jessica for always putting up with me, my old man, always, if it, if it wasn't for his love for the sport, I probably wouldn't be here, to, to be honest with you. I'd probably sell the car. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> well, a round of applause for your winner here tonight. Joe Kohler!